Hello and welcome to ExpressionWeb.us. This is the second in a series of tutorials we're planning to do. The first one we did was how to build a website fast using Expression Web 3.0. This set of videos is about how to upload multiple websites to a hosting account using GoDaddy and Expression Web 3.0. Before we begin, I, I would like to sincerely thank those of you who have subscribed to our channel. I really appreciate it. It means uh, quite a bit to us and inspires us to keep making more videos. We're trying to share what we've learned over the years and hope you find it of benefit. Um, subscribing to the channel, of course, is uh, one way to show us that you know we're on the right track with some of this. So anyway, uh, to get started, we'll get started with the basics. The first thing is that to start a, to upload your website, you're going to need two things. You're going to need a domain name and you're going to need a hosting account. The provider we use is GoDaddy. We realize, I realize that there's a lot of hosting providers out there. Um, I don't get a commission from GoDaddy and in fact there's a lot of things about GoDaddy that I that I don't like. One of the things I, I don't like is uh, you're kinda looking at it is it's it's a pretty busy website with a lot going on they're selling you a lot of stuff. The only thing that we're interested in though is getting a domain name and getting a hosting account. So all this other stuff that GoDaddy is throwing at you just kinda put it to the side. Don't get detracted distracted by all that. Uh, so the one thing is if you decide to get a domain name, actually in looking around and price shopping, one of the things I actually do like about GoDaddy is that their prices are pretty reasonable compared to other providers. I mean seriously you can get a domain name for pretty cheap. Uh, well this is a $1.99 special I see there. But in terms of their hosting services it seems like a pretty good deal for the money. And if you can look at that, we'll talk a little bit about this right now. They basically offer, <clears throat> as far as I'm concerned, two basic plans. I I don't really have much an interest in the unlimited option, but uh, I made the mistake when I first signed up for getting the economy plan. The one drawback with doing that is, I, I can show you that right here, as you can see the cost difference between the, the so-called economy plan and the deluxe plan is, is only $2 in price. But if you look at the features, there's one big difference between them and it's right down here where it says multiple websites. Well, under the economy plan, you can only host one domain name. Under the deluxe plan, which is only $2 more per month, you can host unlimited websites on one hosting account. And if you think about that, that's pretty incredible. So you, you could literally host a hundred websites on one for six ninety nine a month. In addition to that, this is uh, for the bargain shopper in me. Uh, the longer you, the the longer I guess the contract is or whatever that you buy it for, the more of a price break you get. So it's twelve months, so you get five percent. Thirty six months, you get fifteen percent. But before you uh, this is my one tip uh, suggestion is that before you buy either a domain name or the um, hosting account, the web hosting plan, you go uh, onto Google and you type in GoDaddy promo codes and what it'll pull up is a number of websites. Here's one, just the very first one is called Fat Wallet and if you go here you can see that that gives you an additional if you enter this promo code when you check out from GoDaddy you get 20 percent off your shared hosting uh, so that's if they give you a 15 percent plus 20 percent that's like 35 percent off and it's actually seriously it's pretty hard to go wrong with that that's 35 percent so you're paying like four dollars a month to host an unlimited number of websites that's actually in my book that's pretty reasonable so uh, but I, I found this out the hard way so I recommend getting the deluxe plan um, 
with the discounts and everything, it actually comes out to be less than the economy plan, and you can host unlimited websites, which is pretty incredible, and I'll show you how to do that. It's a little bit of a trick to some of that. Um, you also have a cho cho choice of doing an either Linux or Windows. Um, honestly, it's hard to go wrong with either one. If you're going to be doing Expression Web, you might want to do Windows, but then again, um, you don't have to. It's just if you do Windows, you do have access to the uh, Microsoft server database. Uh, you get two two of those in addition to uh, some MySQL databases. But you can look at the plan details and look at them and make your decision. Just be aware. Uh, I guess the main thing to be aware of uh, with that is uh, has to do with the some of the plugins. So. Uh, like I believe with uh, Drupal and some of the other um, plugins, you can only do them on Linux. And uh, but I'm not. We're not really talking about plugins right now. We're just talking about uploading from Expression Web. So, but um, either one's fine. You can upload using Expression Web to either type. I think maybe Windows might be the better if you're using Expression Web because then you also have access to the .NET technologies if that's what you're interested in. If not, either one runs. PHP, which um, is more advanced and beyond what we're really talking about right now, but either way should be okay. Um, I just think you should be aware of the promo code so you can really save yourself some money. Now the next step, uh, once you get your domain name, which is pretty straightforward, and you get the hosting plan, um, the, you choose your hosting plan, then you're pretty much ready to go. And uh, so this would be basically your start page at GoDaddy, your home page when you first go to um, the site and you have to register and all this and that and then you'd get your domain name, you'd get the hosting account you'd apply your discount codes and then once you're in the first thing that you, you should see is something like this when you log on to your account page is you'll see something like this and this is actually like I mentioned one thing I don't like about GoDaddy is it's very busy and they're throwing a lot of stuff at you and uh, all you're really interested in as I mentioned is your domain name and the hosting account so uh, this is the first thing that you'll you'll see is your and what you'll do is you'll go over to where it says hosting and I'm actually going through uh, screenshots I'm not doing this uh, live you go on hosting and then the next site it'll take to is your accounts and like you can see what I have I actually have one hosting account that's Windows and one that's Linux and so I have a domain name called server707.com and uh, that's the would be the root root uh, root directory or root file for my uh, hosting account so I'll, I'll explain to that more so then the next thing you'd go to manage account and you click on manage account and it takes you to this section where it's got uh, a file manager over here and some quick install applications here in your domains what you would click on is your domains and that will take you to this page so uh, what you're looking at and this is inside of GoDaddy my actual account you can see I've got a couple websites here that I'm sharing with you I've got server707.com which is my primary root folder and then I've got two websites here. I got one that's called actually Alpha 3 Video Productions and then another one called cloakproject.com. And what you'll see is that um, I'm going to be using this site cloakproject.com as an example of how to upload to the the server. So even though it's called cloakproject.com, you know, that's just a domain name. So there's not necessarily any relationship between the domain name and the website that I upload to it. I mean, I could upload a website about lollipops or something. It it doesn't really matter. There there should be a correlation between the domain name and the website you're uploading to it. But for practice purposes and for all intents and purposes, there isn't necessarily a, a correlation between the domain name and the content that you upload to it. 